houses not the land you have is looking for character he wants people that will live according to the word of god and keep the commandments of god but you have not you have not because the bible says all have sinned not to live a all have sinned and come short of the glory of god now judgment is coming and then his knees were knocking together and there was a writing on the wall he wanted somebody to help reach the writing on the wall look at verse 9 in verse 9 then was king Belshazzar greatly troubled and his countenance was changed in him and his lords were astonished they were astonished they were surprised there was nothing they could do and there was no solution to the problem there is no solution to the problem until the word of the lord comes to you plain and clear and then you can have a proper understanding a proper interpretation a proper application of that word unto you because judgment is coming if you will repent today, if you will turn away from your sin today, that judgment will not come upon you again. He said, the times of ignorance God went at. The times of ignorance. You see, Belshazzar was ignorant. He did not understand that blasphemy against God will bring judgment. He did not understand that a promiscuous life, an immoral life, going from this woman to that woman and from this uh, concubine to that concubine he did not know that that would bring venal disease in his life he did not know that alcohol will turn him mad he did not know that all those things will spoil his life will destroy his life and it was a time of ignorance there are many people like that today they drink but they are ignorant they don't understand and they smoke they are ignorant they do not understand the consequence of that they blaspheme god they sin against god they sin in the public and they sin in the private they are ignorant they do not know what that will mean in their lives but you know if tonight you said i was ignorant that's why i was playing with satan I was ignorant. That's why I joined the cult. I was ignorant. That's why I did all those evil things I did. But this time of ignorance, God went at, and now he commands all men everywhere to repent. As you say, I've had the word of the Lord. I'm not ignorant anymore now. I know that a day of judgment is coming, and I want to escape the judgment of God. The mercy of God will come to you. Am I talking to somebody there tonight? The favor of God, the grace of God will come to you in Jesus' name. Salvation. Somebody help me shout salvation. That's what we are getting tonight. Full and free. Salvation that comes from heaven and then all your sins are forgiven. That one comes tonight and then the burden of sin, the guilt of sin, and the yoke of sin, and the punishment, and the eternal judgment, everything will pass away from you. When the mercy of God that sets you free, when that mercy comes, you say, Lord, I come, Lord, I come. And then while that passage I'm, I'm reading to you, I'm quoting to you, that say the time of ignorance, God went that, but now he commands so men everywhere to repent he says because god has set a day in the which he will judge all the actions of men all the transgressions of men but now he raised up jesus christ and he is the mediator between you and god between man and god and as you receive that jesus into your heart praise the lord the lord will not look at you as a sinner anymore you become a son of God, a daughter of God. And anywhere you go, if Satan wants to touch you, the Lord will say, remove your hand from there. That is my son. Evil will not come upon your life anymore in Jesus' name. 
But you know, Belshazzar did not understand all that. There was a writing, and then it greatly troubled him. He needed an interpreter. Look at verse 18 of that Daniel chapter 5. It says, O thou king, the most high God, a gift Nebuchadnezzar. Is Daniel talking to him now, thy father, a kingdom? and majesty and glory and honor then in verse 20 it says but when his heart was lifted up that's nebuchadnezzar when his heart was lifted up his mind had in him pride he was deposed from his kingly throne and he took his glory from him and then in verse 22 it says and thou his son Belshazzar, thou his son, Belshazzar, are you a child of a pastor there? And you know your, your father, the pastor talks about salvation, he talks about restoration, he gives you the example of his life, how he reconciled with God, and yet, even though you know the life of your father, you still continue in sin. Judgment day is coming. But if you will turn to the Lord today and say, Lord, I surrender. The mercy of God will come to you today in Jesus' name. Did your parents buy a Bible for you and then you have read the lives of Samuel and the life of Joseph and the life of Daniel and the life of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and the life of Mary, the virgin, and the lives of other people that followed after the Lord? And yet, even though you have a Bible in your hand and you go to church, yet you are not following what you have read. They had Jesus to save them and they were saved, but there you are. You are still a sinner, chewing sin, drinking sin, and eating sin, and following kinds of sinners. Judgment day is coming, but thank God today is your chance. Say, today is my chance. And the Lord will recover your life and restore your life in Jesus' name. For Belshazzar, it was different. Thou his son, O Belshazzar, hast not humbled thy heart, though thou knewest all this. And then in verse 23, it says, But thou hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. When you are drinking, you lifted up yourself against the God of heaven. When you are following after those women and concubines, you lifted up yourself against the Lord of heaven. When you contradicted and disobeyed and broke the laws of God, the commandments of God, you lifted up yourself against the Lord of heaven. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords and thy wives and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gods of gold and of brass and iron and wood and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know, and the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, thou hast not glorified. In verse 24, it says, Therefore then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written. There is a writing against every sinner. To start with, every bad thing you do, every evil thing you do, every sin you commit, whether small or great, whether it's a kind of copying other people, obeying other people who are living in sin, and they're not satisfied to live in sin by themselves, and they come to influence you, and then you, like a sheep that is meant for slaughter, you just follow them, everything is reaching down, and then then the judgment of God eventually is reaching down. But today is your chance for free salvation and free healing and free deliverance. If you will not wait, if you will not draw back too late, if you will say, today I come, salvation will come to you. 
deliverance will come to you and the miracle will come to you in jesus name and now a writing came look at verse 25 this is the writing that was written many many take you first in. and then in verse 26 it says this is the interpretation of the scene many god has numbered thy kingdom and finished it god knows what we do not know he knows the number of days we're supposed to live he knows the time we're going to spend here and there are people maybe they have only one day left like belshazzar and they're still doing like we're doing before they're still dancing and drinking and womanizing and doing all those things and then the bell rings they're gone into a lost eternity God knows the measure of your days. That's the reason why you need to be wise today and say, Lord, all those evil things I've been doing, I suspend them. I stop them. I will not continue in them anymore. But in the case of Meshach, God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Verse 27, in verse 27, take hill, thou art in the balances and had found wanting the Lord which is action commandment number one on one side of the scale is action on the other side of the scale he couldn't measure up commandment number two on one side of the of the scale and his life on the other scale he couldn't measure up and when he was measured with all the commandments of God he was found wanting. He failed. He failed. And there was no mercy for him. He didn't even ask for forgiveness of mercy himself. Look at the commandments of God as the Lord measures your life with the commandments of God. Where do you stand? Commandment number one, thou shalt not have any other God before me. Where do you stand? Commandment number two, you will not make any image. Where do you stand? Number three, you will not call the name of the Lord in vain. Where do you stand? Number four, you remember the Lord's day to keep it holy, holy and perfect and worship the Lord. Where do you stand? And then commandment number five, that you honor, you respect your parents all the days of your life. Where do you stand? Then you will not kill, you will not steal, and you will not be a false witness where do you stand you will not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor where do you stand Belshazzar was weighed in the balances and was found wanting the Lord is weighing all your actions by him all actions are weighed by him all habits are weighed by him your character is weighed and it says he was weighed and found wanting the man was short-sighted. He was so short-sighted, he couldn't reach the writing on the wall. But today, mercy comes to you. I said, mercy comes to you. Look at verse 28. It says in verse 28, Parents, that kingdom is divided and given to the medes and passion even the thing it was you know holding on to i am the king i will drink as much as i want to drink he lost everything the lord is showing us that he said look at that man he became a fool at the end of his life do you want to be like belshazzar at the end of your life or are you i will not be like belshazzar I will not be foolish. I will not be weighed and found wanting. I will seek the face of the Lord, and as we seek the face of the Lord, forgiveness and salvation will come to you in Jesus' name. We're coming to number three now. Number three, we're looking at seekers of wonders, seekers of wonders with willingness to surrender. Those are the people the Lord will pardon. Those are the people the Lord will bring signs and wonders in your life in Jesus' name. Seekers 
of wonders, seekers of wonders. You know, the, the wonder will not just come to you as if, you know, God uh, says, okay, if you will not come, I will come to you. If you will not believe, that's all right. If you will not seek me, that's all right. I'll give you the wonders anyway. No, the wonders are not as cheap as that. You must seek after the wonders of the Lord and with the willingness to surrender unto the Lord. And as you do that tonight, miracle will come to you. We well, were in Kotonu, uh, Benin Republic. And this boy, 15 years of age, was brought by his parents from uh, the northern part of Benin Republic. His name, Adamu, born deaf and dumb, completely deaf and dumb, could not hear anything. But when the parents were coming from the village in the north, in the northern part of the republic, they brought him. And then as we were preaching the word, and then I said, the power of God is coming upon you now, and we preach, lo and behold, deaf ears opened. The mouth that could not talk before began to talk, and we brought the boy and tested him. He could hear everyone. That's right, that's right. Put your hands together and give a calabar tap into the world. That's what happened. And then, that's all right now, that's all right now. And after that, when we finished that uh, crusade, they took the boy to the village. And when, they, when the villagers saw, and remember, there was no church, no single church, no kind of church in that village. The father just had about the program in Kotono and came. And then uh, when everybody saw Adamo, and they said, Adamo, from where you coming? I'm coming from Kotono. And then began to speak very well. The chief of the village there gave us free land, free land. Come and build that kind of church over here. But you know, you know why that happened? They were seekers of wonders. And if you will seek like that tonight and say, I leave all my idols behind, I leave all those bad things behind, and I come into the Lord, that power will come to you tonight. In that same crusade, there was a woman 40 years of age, and she did the name Christine. And I can remember that miracle very well because that miracle, even the president of the country, Ben a Republic, heard about the miracle that the president before the president won, and he had to invite me and my team to his uh, office. And we spoke about miracles, we spoke about the salvation of the Lord, and by the grace of God, eventually he surrendered his life to the Lord. He himself now is a real child of God. Let me come back to Sister Christina. She was at the last stage of HIV. And the children, sons and daughters, they brought her. And she was on a stretcher. And they laid her down. And they were, you know, some of the children on this side, another one on that side. And then I prayed the message, and the woman was so weak, she could not stand. She was so weak, she could not walk. And she was just lying down helplessly there. And then we began to pray the kind of prayer we're going to pray tonight and that prayer will turn your life around if you're seeking the wonders of the lord in jesus name and then as we prayed in the middle of the prayer in the middle of the prayer we had not said the final amen Christine, a 40 year old mother at the last stage of hiv age and totally weak got up by herself the the sons and the daughters they didn't know when that happened and then she got up and then she started running not walking she was running and when we said the final amen and we said in jesus name we pray the children opened their eyes they couldn't see their mother and then they were looking for her. mama where are you mama where are you mama was exercising her new strength and she was running and they ran after her and then when they got her they thought she was mad and then she started laughing and she said i am not mad 
I am healed. Power. Somebody shout power. Power came upon her life because she was seeking, seeking, and was seeking with a willing heart to surrender. I know you are there tonight, and if you're seeking the Lord, and you want to surrender to the Lord, something will happen in your life. Power will come into your life. Anointing will break every yoke in your life. That's why Jesus said, but well, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness when you raise up your hand that you want to receive the lord that's seeking the kingdom of god and his righteousness when you stand up and you say i confess my sin i abandon my sin i will not go back into those sins anymore you're seeking the wonders of the lord the wonder of salvation the wonder of healing, the wonder of deliverance, the wonder of power from on high. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and this righteousness, and then all these things shall be added unto you. All these things shall be added unto you. Where are you? All these things shall be added unto you. Healing added, power added, deliverance added solution to your problem added all all somebody shout all all the good things you are looking for will be added to your life in jesus name it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed the lord is giving you the chance tonight even if they're the worst of sinners there's salvation for you tonight the worst of sinners, there's forgiveness for you tonight. The worst of sinners, there is pardon, there is peace for you tonight. Just indicate, and as you raise up your hand, and then you stand up, that forgiveness will come to you. Judgment will not come anymore. Evil will not come anymore. The peace of God will settle in your heart. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you want the salvation of the Lord, you want the pardon of your sin, and you want the freedom that Christ gives, redemption, righteousness that he gives, raise up your hand uh, anywhere you are. Praise the Lord. That's you there. That's you there. That's you there. Make it a date with the Lord. A day of appointment, a day of salvation for you. Raise up that hand, raise up that hand. I want Jesus to be my Savior. I want Jesus to be my Lord. I surrender. I'm willing to surrender my life completely to the Lord. Raise up that hand. If you're raising up your hand anywhere you are, please stand up. Please stand up. The Lord wants to see you. God bless you there. 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 Stand up wherever you are, at the gallery, on the ground floor, anywhere you are, outside. Stand up and demonstrate that you want to have Jesus as your personal Savior. And as you are standing up, tell the Lord, confess your sins of the past, like uh, the sins of Beshazzar, all the things you have committed, you tell the Lord, I'm sorry. Now I surrender. Now I surrender. I give my heart, I give my life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. He will receive you. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And immediately that salvation is coming to you right now. Amen. Amen. Let me pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for all these new sons and new daughters who are coming to Christ now according to your promise. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Change their hearts. Change their lives. And the things they used to do that was to bring judgment upon them, help them to dislike all those things and not to want to do them anymore. In Jesus' name, let us be a witness in their hearts that now they're children of God. 
their sins are forgiven. Freedom has come to them. Free salvation, true salvation has come to them right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation you have given them. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing there. Our state overseer will come now and direct us in this time of uh, getting the names and the details of the people that have given their lives to the Lord. Uh, please remain standing. After that, I'm going to come back and today, signs and wonders will happen in your life. Let me hear Calabai men before I sit down. Keep standing. Keep standing. Keep standing. Our leaders going now, going now quickly, and take their data. Make sure that you're accurate. Don't be in a hurry. Be accurate. Name, contacts, address, email, if any. Just be patient with them. Calls 1 to 10 and the member, please. Let's go ahead now.